Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Up Session channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Kershaw Link Model 1776. Like me, this knife is made in the USA, and it is model number 1776. And if you were also made in the USA, I would hope that you know the significance of the year 1776. Yes, you heard correctly. Made in the USA. Kershaw did make one. Uh, this one comes out of Oregon. They apparently have a big factory there. You can see right here in the glass-filled nylon handle of scale, USA. Has some nice texturing here. Again, this is GFN, glass-filled nylon. They also have other versions of this knife where it has aluminum scales or handle that are smooth. Now the closed length of this knife is 4.4 inches, weighs 4 ounces or 113.4 grams and we have a extremely large lanyard hole, no problem getting 550 cord through there. You have Torx screw construction, these are T6 Torx screws. You also have a uh, glass filled nylon back spacer right here. You have another torque screw for your pivot screw, and that is a T10, and you only adjust it on the one side here. And again, very nice texturing, nice feel, very ergonomic handle, because it's not flat, it does have a nice uh, rounded uh, contour, nice ergonomic contour. On the other side here, you can see they have a typical Kershaw clip held on by two torque screws again T6 it is reversible where you could go ahead and put that on the other side for left-handed carry but it is always tip up not tip down carry this knife is an assisted opener by using the flipper right here and it's open very very fast I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom out a little bit and I think it's a very handsome knife now this is the black wash version they also have uh, other versions that are finished with just regular stone wash without the black wash. They also have different blades, like this is a drop point, but they also have a tanto blade. So this is the drop point plain edge blade. It has a two-thirds flat grind. If it is a hollow grind, it's a very shallow um, hollow grind, but it feels flat to me. You have a false wedge on top. The steel is 420 HC. Um, for, I, I could not find what the hardness is, what the HRC of what Kershaw had heat treated this blade to, but uh, 420 HC can be hardened anywhere between 55 and 59. I know some of you may poo-poo <laughs> 420 HC, but it is a pretty good steel and Buck has been using it for years successfully and a, a lot of people like it so just because it's 420 it's not your father's 420 it is a higher carbon 420 and that's what that HC stands for at the end the blade length is three and a quarter inches which is 8.4 centimeters overall length when this knife is open is 7.6 inches or 19.3 centimeters. Well, let's uh, run through the test. You know what? I forgot about telling you about the links. Um, I have two sets of links. I have a link to Amazon where it can run anywhere between $33 and $50 depending on which version you buy. And I have another link to Walmart where they sell it for $39.42, this exact version, which you can't find this combination of these scales and this blade on Amazon right now. And that's not to say when you're watching this video it might be up there or not be up there, but at Walmart they do have this combination. That's where I purchased this one. So let's go ahead and run through the tests. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. We'll take a look at blade centering. And you can see right there the blade centering is perfect. Retention the blade is held in very, very well. You can see it takes, uh, I don't know what you would call that, about 20 degrees or 25 degrees before it will finally uh, start kicking out with the assisted opener. 
and the assisted opener gets it about that far and then momentum takes it all the way out. And I'll let you go ahead and see that deployment again utilizing the built-in flipper. No thumb studs. Does come out with authority. Comes out very fast. That flipper and the assisted opening works very, very well. Once it is open, there is no up and down or side to side play. Lock up. You can see that the liner lock is behind the blade with a lot of room to wear to the right, so this should last a very long time. Now we'll go ahead and test for sharpness. I do happen to have a piece of paper somewhere here. Yes, I do. And we'll go ahead and see how sharp it is. And right there it's push cutting, roughly, but it is push cutting, so it is very sharp. I'm going to go ahead and just take it on, whoops, <laughs> and I put my foot in my mouth there. There we go. Just operator error. So it's definitely uh, paper cut and sharp. We could see if it can shave. Fortunately, I have a lot of hair. And it's taken some hair, but not a lot. So it's somewhere between push cutting sharp and shaving sharp. So you could probably touch it up. And fortunately, 420 HC does sharpen rather easily and holds an edge reasonably well. Next thing we'll do is the stab test. I know a lot of you hate when I do this, but I do it so you don't have to. I want to make sure that this tip here was properly heat treated. So I'm just going to... Um, there we go. Just sort of pry and dig, forage on some soft pine here. There we go. And we'll take a look and see how the tip fared. And you can see there's no damage to the blade, so it looks like heat treatment was done very well. By the way, the I told you that I purchased this at Walmart. Here's the box that it came in. It also included this, um, not really, well, there is an instruction manual, just an overall general kind of instruction, not specifically for just this knife. There's also some warranty information and some maintenance tips to keep your knife working well. It really is a breath of fresh air to be able to review a knife from Kershaw made in the USA. It's not too often. Um, one other thing, ergonomics are outstanding with this knife. It feels really good um, with your normal grip. So if you're gripping like that, feels good. Reverse carry, let's take a look. Feels good. And the reason why that reverse grip feels really good is because how the top here is angled in. So when you are holding it, your thumb just sort of rests over there. And you could do that stabbing that way. So, very comfortable. Also, didn't point out, you have a sharpening choil right there. And even though you have the false wedge out of the top, you still have some flat area right here. So if you have a clamp-on sharpening system, you do have some flat area right there. So you can go ahead and equally sharpen both sides with that sharpening system. So you really have it all here. Um, I, I think this is a great knife. It's lightweight. Would make an awesome EDC as long as uh, people don't get too excited about assisted openers. That's the uh, one thing. It's flying out there. So if you're around people that are sensitive... <laughs> two knives just popping out. This one might scare them. <laughs> but I, I really like this a lot. I don't think there's a torsion bar in this, so you really can't get rid of uh, that, that, that assisted opening function. So it's there uh, permanently. The only, uh, now to find any criticisms here, um, the only thing I could really criticize this for is middle of the road kind of materials. You know, it is 428C, which is about the lowest you want to go for good quality um, steel for your blade. But it is very good. And like I said, Buck has been using it for years as well as other knife vendors. And it all depends on the heat treatment that was done on the blade will result in how good it is. Uh, you, you have glass filled nylon scales here which make it very lightweight and it does make it very comfortable but some of you I know like G10 however there is an aluminum scale option but those are very smooth and have no texture so you have to give and take there as far as your choice but 
that's really about it and there is some nice texture here on the back spacer but it is uh, closed up right there very very nice I don't think the liners are skeletonized at all and no they are not um, as far as washers I really cannot make out what kind of washers this knife uses uh, oh, I could see a little bit of copper or bronze phosphorus in there so it might cost quite possibly have bronze phosphorus washers let me get a uh, flash I guess God knows I have a million of them uh, I really cannot tell oh I'm seeing a little more bronze phosphorus so uh, or copper washers they're not Teflon so just wanted to point that out all right I recommend this knife a lot a lot it is made in the USA I'm very happy I'm happy can you tell and it's not just because I whoops got this gold star <laughs> all right so if you're interested in this knife links are below to both Amazon that will bring up a whole bunch of these type of different variants of the link 1776 by Kershaw also a link to Walmart to, for this exact one with this combination handle and black wash blade gorgeous huh all right well thank you very much for joining me here at the gear obsession channel I really do appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and I hope you have a great day take care bye